Japan gets ready for nationwide elections. Fumio Kishida hoping to lead the ruling LDP to victory as he takes over as prime minister. For a closer look, Professor Naoko Kumagai from the Aoyama Gakuin University joins us. Uh, Professor Fumio Kishida has made no secret of his prime ministerial ambitions. What's he likely to bring to the table? Well, many things. I mean, security, economy, corona issues. Uh, but I think that what is very notable is that he will reform LDP, the Liberal Democratic Party. I think that's I mean, one of the me agendas he raised when he raised his hands as a candidate for the, uh, the LDP president. Uh, he said that he placed term limits for party executives, and then the party had been long ruled by a few senior members. So I think that was really problematized not only by ordinary Japanese people, but also by party members. Well, he narrowly lost out to Mr. Suga in last year's poll. So does the LDP's choice to pick Mr. Kishida here signal more change or perhaps continuity from Mr. Suga? I think uh, it's a quite a change in terms of the politics style political style and some changes in uh, policy. I think Kishida takes a more dialogue style, more tolerant with more tolerance, and he values conversation with ordinary Japanese people. So I think um, his politics style is so different from Suga. But, and he also called for unity among Japanese people. But I think in terms of policy, he really succeeds, I mean, many parts of Suga's policies, I think, including security, economy, and uh, also energy issues. Uh, he will boost a more, I mean, uh, economy plan with some um, big um, economic uh, package uh, for um, Japanese economy, which suffered really a lot under the corona. And he will continue some monetary relaxation policy uh, which continues since the Abe uh, administration. Yeah, his but appointment. he will also, um, some different, sorry, uh, what is notable in him is that he will focus on more on distribution of pe income among people while he uh, values growth. Uh, looking outward, his appointment comes as tensions in the region rise with the Quad Alliance. How is he likely to balance ties with China? Well, he will continue to consolidate the U.S.-Japan alliance system and in the defense capabilities of Japan, including the missile defense. And he said that uh, the enemy land attack ability is one of the options uh, to think. Uh, but he says that uh, he will continue dialogue with China. And what is unique in him is that he will focus on the issues of human rights. He plans to place a um, new um, special advisor position uh, in the cabinet in charge of human rights. And he also says, I think this is in view of China. And then he, I think um, he, he said that uh, he will also see the importance of the stability of the Taiwan Strait. So I think it is really a mixture of um, tough and soft approaches to China. Professor Kumagai, you've outlined how much uh, Mr. Kishida has to handle in terms of the economy, in terms of tackling income inequality as well. After two years of this pandemic, uh, Japan has suffered a great deal economically. What sort of direction do you think he is going to take here? I think he will seek some kind of the income gap um, adjustment uh, policy uh, because uh, I think Maybe you know that he proposed a new so-called new capitalism idea uh, in which the, he will value not just growth, but also distribution. And he said that he will place a new economic package of dozens of trillion Japanese yen. And also in the longer term, he will invest more on uh, science and technology for the more fundamental uh, growth of Japanese economy. Um, yes. Well, we'll soon find out how the uh, Japanese population think of him. Uh, he's going to be leading the LDP into a general election within weeks. Uh, how strong do you think his footing is? Well, maybe I mean under Kishida's uh, leadership, uh, LDP would perform better than 
um, under Suga's leadership in the coming uh, general election. Um, I think the very high level of attention to today's uh, LDP presidential election really shows that uh, um, Japanese people are very, very much concerned about the current political situation. And then uh, also that is, this means that many people really listen to Kishida's message that he will listen to the voices of Japanese people. And uh, his voices might have reached wider public beyond LDP members. And um, but I also admit that LDP suffered a lot from the distrust of ordinary Japanese people due to the series of scandals under the Suga and the Abe administrations, and also the criticisms about the handling of the corona pandemic. So it is true that it is not easy for uh, Mr. Kishida to perform well in the next general election. But one thing is that the opposition parties are not strong enough to match LDP. In the recent uh, survey in September, uh, the largest opposition party, uh, Constitutional Democratic Party, got the approval rating of 0.5%, while the LDP got 37.6%. So still LDP is uh, much stronger than the largest opposition party. Well, there still remain many challenges for Japan in this pandemic. Professor Kumagai, thank you very much for your thoughts on this. Professor Naoko Kumagai from the Aoyama Gakuin University.